All right, welcome back to Good Day. We're here talking with Nicholas Dalton. He is an A-Step volunteer artist who is in town at Darton College. Now, uh, Nicholas, A-Step stands for Artists Striving to End Poverty, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, tell us how you came up with that name and what is your organization? What do you guys all do? Um, well, uh, we work with poverty, meaning the lack of dot, dot, dot. Um, right. So not just what we think of as money, but more uh, lack of a support structure, family, uh, renewable resources, clean water. Uh, we're a nonprofit based out of New York. We're artists of all walks of life. Uh, we're uh, visual artists, musicians, actors, uh, dancers, and we go into communities both in the U.S. and around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, using the arts uh, help uh, help them empower themselves and help their voices be heard. Uh, help encourage critical thinking, uh, collaboration, teamwork. Uh, and uh, that's the easiest, like nickel okay. and dime version. Of okay. What we now, now, how do you, how does art, uh, how does art go into the community, and how do you use your art, uh, your artistry, in whatever, uh, whatever way, uh, to to help poverty? Um, wh well, uh, let's say the, the the main goal is to uh, help them empower themselves. So we go into there's a school for social change in India that we work with. It's mm -hmm. all untouchable children. Uh, the means of the the purpose of the school is to justify the social classes. So we come in and. I like to say we fill in the black and white with the gray area. Right. So uh, uh, teaching them uh, critical thinking and problem solving, which then goes on. Uh, there's a student uh, who's now in law school, uh, which is rare for them. Most of them live off of about five cents a day. Right. And uh, she is a, she's in law school, and she says the stuff that I learned with you guys is great because it's exactly what you need in law school. It, it's problem solving. It is uh, figuring out the best plan of attack, and which is also uh, – Recently, there was an article in the New York Times, I believe, that said um, that it was interviewing 20 Fortune 500 companies, and they were saying mm -hmm. they they love people who have arts training because they are the best to work with. They also can come up with 10 different solutions right. and 20 different ways to get there. Okay, so uh, kind of a mix of everything. Yeah. And your organization has uh, quite a few members. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, we uh, it's a, a group of people from all over the country. Uh, a lot of Broadway performers. Uh, we're teaching artists, so we volunteer our time. So we do it in between jobs. Mm -hmm. um, it was started by a woman named Mar Mary Mitchell Campbell. She's a Broadway music director um, as well as orchestrator and uh, a bunch of Juilliard graduates. Okay. And uh, so it, it literally is across the board as far as... Who we okay, have in well, our we're looking at some pictures now. Yes, and uh, th these are some of the areas I guess you've gone into before, and some of the other people that you uh, work with and uh, yeah. have gone through uh, gone through this. That's actually Cartica right there. Okay, okay, there yeah. we go. So we put a picture or put a put a face to uh, what you painted there for us. Yeah, and uh, there's another group of folks. Now uh, coming into Darton College in the Albany mm -hmm. area, how long are you going to be here? And just for the week. Just for the week. Okay, and uh, how can folks take part in this? Um, well, they can show up. Uh, we're here as part of the Kennedy Center uh, American College Theater Festival. So it's a series of workshops, performances, acting competition, design competition. Mm -hmm. uh, go over to Darton College. We're in the Humanities Building. And uh, walk in, and there's a schedule on the wall. And okay. uh, just see what, what is on the deck for today. And you can literally pop in. Okay. Well, we'll talk more with you in just a little bit. We're going to go to a break. Won't your fourth hour good day right after this. All right, welcome back to Good Day. Back with Nicholas Dalton. He is an A-Step volunteer artist who's in town as part of a theater festival ongoing at Darton College. Now, uh, Nick, uh, tell us uh, what it is that you do as part of this festival. What, what do you do? Um, well, the Kennedy Center hired us to come in. Uh, there's four of us going to different regions. They've separated the country into, I think, eight different regions. Uh, and we come in and we teach primarily this workshop called Artist as Citizen mm -hmm. uh, about kind of reclaiming your artist and going back to your childhood and bringing out the inner artist. Yeah, yeah, co coloring outside <laughs> the lines um, and creative thinking and uh, kind of how we have a larger stake as citizens in the community and how we can collaborate and work together as a means of survival and bringing, especially in the last, uh, the recession, we'll say, uh, helping your communities uh, thrive and grow again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and as part of this festival, you mentioned the Kennedy Center. Mm. Uh, how are they lucrative in, keep, in keeping this going? And uh, what are some of the things that they offer? Do, do they offer scholarships, anything like that? Yeah, well, the, the great thing about this, the regional thing, uh, is uh, each region has a series of competitions for, uh, for designers, for actors, for directors, dramaturgs, and they then scholarship them and send them to D.C. for a week, two weeks in April. Uh, where they do a series of workshops and they get to hang out at the Kennedy Center, which is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Right. Um, and then they also are gracious enough to give, uh, they gave us two scholarships last year to send artists uh, to some of our programs. So we sent uh, 
one of a, a student from Adelphi University to South Africa uh, mm -hmm. to our program for HIV and AIDS infected youth and families down wow. there. Uh, so they're they're really progressive and thinking outside the box in the sense of what an artist is and using your collegiate training uh, for something else beyond just performance space, which is great. Okay, now uh, let's say folks want to get maybe get involved with mm -hmm. with ASTEP. How how would they do that? Oh, uh, you would look online. Uh, go to ASTEP online a s t e p dot org and uh, look at all the different programs, fill out an application. Mm -hmm. uh, don't be, uh, I, I'm not a trained teacher, I'm an artist, right. and, uh, and it's, it, it enriches my art deeper than anything I could ever, ever measure. Okay, so you're gonna be in town uh, the next two days, mm -hmm. today and tomorrow, Darton College, yeah. and uh, folks come out there, like you say, there's a big board with all the events going on? Oh yeah, there are plays going on, there's workshops. Uh, if you're really interested, just show up and people will guide you. There's teams of volunteers. Uh, the people at Darton College have been great. There's literally an army of 20. Uh,